Hi guys, welcome to Nine's Corner. I hope you are feeling well, doing well, and it is that time again to get into weekly vibes. Let's see what we need to find out this week about love, money, or advice, or just something to think about. So take a few moments and pick a number, which number resonates with you, one, two, or three, and then go choose that number and see how our week is going to be. So you've chosen group one. When it comes to love, family, friends, even your coworkers, you have the high priestess. So there's something going on that you're not in the know about. So you do not have all the facts. So this week I would stay neutral. Maybe somebody's gonna come to you and say, hey, I'm gonna let you know something. Or maybe it's you who's got the secret, not necessarily a secret, but just something that maybe others don't know yet. So just stay neutral. Stay neutral this week when it comes to the people in your life. And just as a side note, um, be careful when you're driving this week. Make sure that you're not rushing. Take precautions. Know your surroundings. And don't be surprised if you hear about a car accident or something of that such. So when it comes to money, we've got the Six of Swords. So Six of Swords, if you are working, if you're currently working, I would be careful with a coworker because, you know, there could be an upset or there could be a misunderstanding and you want to keep yourself out of that, but it could be directly affecting you or it could be you, I guess. Um... But if you're looking at money, things will be tight, but don't worry about it. You'll get your bills paid and stuff. Just don't overspend this week. If you don't have it, don't spend it. And when it comes to advice, we have the Two of Wands. So the Two of Wands means that it'll take a little time. There will be a little time to have to wait before you'll really get to doing things. At this time, I would say, do what you know that you can do, knowing that there's other things coming. And now it's time for those angel answers. Do you have your question that has a yes, no, or a variation of that in your mind that you'd like to have some answer to or advice for? Do you have your question? The angel answer is, you're ready. You're ready. All your past experiences have led to this moment. You've studied and grown spiritually in many ways. There is nothing more to do. You're ready to move forward and to embrace the person you know in your heart you are meant to be. The world is anxiously awaiting the contributions that following your life purpose will provide. You may have to put yourself first in this situation. It's time to do what is right for you. You've chosen group two. 
When it comes to love, friends, family, co-workers, we've got the three of swords. So for somebody in your life, things have not been working out well. This is a time of salvaging what you can. This is a time of looking and saying, is this friendship worth, worth fighting for? Is there enough there to build on or is it time to let go? This for some, unfortunately, could mean that you're looking at your love partner this way. For some, it could be separation and divorce or hearing about somebody. So remember to be a source of, of support for them. When it comes to money, we have the sun. So good fortune is upon you. So if you are waiting for something to come in or you were hoping a little extra, something would show up out of nowhere, this is a good week for that. But this is also a time to say, hey, maybe you need to expose your finances and look at how things are running. Is there places where you could be saving? Is there places where you're spending a little too much? And when it comes to work, this could be a week where exposure could be something that might be happening where somebody will be exposed for getting something wrong or an affair or something like that. Just saying, it's all in good fun. But in the workplace, those type of things can happen. And as, as advice, we have the hermit. So with the hermit, you do not have all the answers, nor do you have the whole story. So you have to ensure that you don't force a situation. Don't force something to a conclusion because it's not ready yet. This is a time to allow for some time to let things simmer so that you do have all the answers before you move forth. So right now, don't force anything. And as always, our angel answers. What question do you have that you need some advice or maybe a yes, no, or variation of that? Something that you always think about or something that's just new that you're just kind of like, I wonder about that. Do you have your question? Your angel answer is wait, wait. Your situation is going to require a little patience. Your angels are not saying no, but they are saying not yet. Sometimes heaven needs a little extra time to make all the pieces fall perfectly into place. What you are asking for may have an effect on the lives of others. When that occurs, it can take additional preparation to make sure that everyone's needs are seen to. Be patient so that all that are involved can have their experience they're meant to have. You've chosen group three. With the Ace of Pentacles, it looks like you're going to be offered some fun times with family or friends. And if you're thinking about your lover or your significant other, you'll be wishing that they would be more emotional, more you know, more loving towards you. You wish they would respond in a more lovingly way. So for some, this is going to be the offer of a time to get together, maybe offer of a present. And for others, it may just kind of show you that in some relationships, there's some lacking there because you seem to be pulling the most of the weight. When it comes to money, we've got the Page of Cups. This is a week to be grateful. You really have nothing to worry about. You know where your money's coming in. You know where your money's coming out. But maybe you've been feeling down about the way things are. And so this is a reminder to be grateful. Have gratitude that you have a bed. Have gratitude that you have a pillow under your head. Have gratitude that you have others around you. This week is gratitude. When it comes to advice, we have the nine of wands. So if first you don't succeed, try and try again. You're on your own in many ways in your life and you're fighting your own battle. People may be around you, but it seems like it ends up being left to you. Now, this is an opportunity to say, hey, 
there are people that are willing to help you. And this would be a reminder to say it's not, it, it doesn't reflect badly on you to ask. Refuse to be beaten up by life and you won't be. It's up to you. You have all the things you need around you. People, places, things, money, resources. It's up to you what you're willing and able to ask for. And as always, we end on our angel answer. What question do you have this week that needs a yes, no, or a variation of that, or just some advice that you could use or something to think about? Do you have it ready? Let's see what the angels have for you. Compromise. In order to create a happy outcome for this situation, you will find it necessary to compromise. Allow yourself some time to become clear about what is truly important to you. Also, take note on matters where you will be open to changing your position. Work towards an agreement where everyone wins. Be open to cooperation that would allow you to get what you want while also assisting others in fulfilling their desires. Be objective about finding a balance between respecting everyone's viewpoints and still being true to your own. As always, my darlings, I have our unity candle lit for each and every one of us. And until the next time we chat, my friends, take care and cheerio.